What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Is That is greatly appreciated. But today, I'm going to hit y'all with my thoughts on this new project from Torre and Marco Polo entitled Midnight Run. Torre, Coney Island representative. He's known for his raw, aggressive, uh, Brooklyn-style lyricism, and he's back after a long hiatus. Now, going back into the late 2000s and 2010s, Torre had uh, made a name for himself doing records with the likes of Sean Price, Skazoo, and Primo. In 2009, Torre had linked up with the well-respected Canadian producer Marco Polo uh, for their album Double Barrel, but... 14 years later, the two have reunited to give us some more raw, hardcore New York hip hop. This new album is entitled Midnight Run and allegedly is based off the lower budget De Niro movie uh, called Midnight Run from the late 80s. It's one of those ones that I got suckered into buying, but I don't really think De Niro was in the movie that much. But getting right into Midnight Run, um, the only feature is Drez, A Black Sheep, and it contains 10 songs lasting approximately 27 minutes but with that being said let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown the opener reloaded uh sets it off with some eerie but energetic boom back production uh we are getting one dope verse from Torre, who is letting everyone know that he's back and fully reloaded Torre states I give you the locks and Nas feeling, give you the rock, rocking Tim's all season I give you the props Bucktown caught that line that I dropped so some good name drops for sure uh, as he's paying homage to the old New York MCs, especially his mentors like Bootcamp Click. Track two, the return has some chilly strings and primo like scratches. It's the kind of beat that seems tailor made for MOP. Torre raps, this is where the Tims get scuffed up, the beards looking scruffed up. I'm still dressed in all black, ain't no puff stuff. And the 2023 CLMP, Guru and Preem, Marco and me. So he is likening his chemistry with Marco Polo to that of those aforementioned classic 90s duos. After this is Making Up, which has some uh, playful soul chops, and he's giving you those gritty New York bars, but the beat is lively and fun. Here, Torres exposing uh, the fake MCs and the clowns. He raps. The only time I go pop is when the banger buck a bullet sing to you, I ain't draking up. And he also has some clever Bismarcky and cold chilling wordplay. Next is Oh No, uh, which has an addicting soul sample that ironically is the same sample that some artists had gone viral for using on TikTok, which I was not aware of until I did this review. Uh, but it's a dope beat nonetheless. Uh, this sounds like it could have easily fit in the late 2000s. With this one, Torre is hitting us over the head with boastful bars. He's also paying homage to the late great Tame One with artifacts. Tame One give you the art, but it's facts, and I'm from the wrong side of the track. Following this is Gray Sheep, which contains the same sample used on Black Sheep's uh, Give Me the Finger. So I dug this up-tempo, psychedelic 90s feel to the production, and uh, some of the words from Drez of Black Sheep was very fitting. And Torre, he bigs up Marco Polo once more with this is how you keep the whole metro booming through past, present, and future. If young Marco don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Also, on this record, Torre uh, prides himself in being independent, being his own boss, and uh, not punching the clock. Right after is Light Behind Bars, which has these cinematic horns uh, that feel like they could have been lifted from some 80s movie. This is a dope conceptual track about Torre likening uh, his life to an inmate and in that he is incarcerated for his bars and his. Uh, dope abilities as a wordsmith. There's even a courtroom reporter speaking, which gives it that added cinematic flair. Tere raps, never want the coins low. I stay on my job. It's survival of the fittest. Chife life as the mob. Immediately after is Mardi Gras, and it's backed by some more punchy boom bap. And Tore gives us three verses uh, with some braggadocia mixed in with some threats. Torre also speaks on a collaboration that he was very proud of and that was with the late great uh, Sean Price. Torre raps, I did real records with Sean, no made up shit. Track 8, Rap Shit has a neck snapping, busy beat with some heavy scratching and Torre is giving us one raw verse. 
just going in, reminding the herbs uh, <laughs> that he takes this rap shit serious and that there's real substance behind his bars. He's not just talking about jewelry, cars, and drugs. The second to last song is Days of Our Lives. Now this has a spooky uh, gospel-like sample and crisp drums that I feel uh, makes it one of the better beats on the project. And on this record, Ture is getting a little philosophical. It's less boastful in nature. Uh, he is speaking on his past accolades a bit, but he's also giving out some wise game like, uh, still the greatest story never told. They want you to stream now. It could have been sold. I could have been gold. Chose the road less travel for my soul. Then this project wraps up with more danger. Uh, where Marco Polo essentially remade the rappers are in danger beat. Uh, without the horns that is. So you're getting some crunchy uh, head nod in production with that Kara's one sample. Torre states... And my vibe so Quincy, I ain't come here to fail. Guess the source material was too real. Used to dream of five mics till I see it required a price. So overall, I'm going to give this project a rating of a strong three and a half mics. I wouldn't be mad at someone saying this is a four mic album. Uh, but to me, I'm going to strong three and a half. Uh, it is a short and to the point raw return album for this Brooklyn MC. It is a no frills, unadulterated hip hop album that I think fans of more traditional style New York rap will likely embrace. And there was sort of a timeless quality to the production uh, that sounded like it could have been either released back in the 2000s or even currently. Uh, but that being said, even though I do like the production, uh, there were a couple beats that uh, I could describe as a little stale. But if you like hard bars and fun uh, sample-based boom bap, uh, then you would definitely want to give this a listen. My favorite tracks include Oh No, Great Sheep, Life Behind Bars, Days of Your Lifetime, and More Danger. But let me know what you thought about this project in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. Um, but as always, it's peace and blessings. Torre, Marco Polo, Midnight Run 1.